Ashley Landis staff photographer spectators watch from a balcony near the 18th green during round three of the Dean DeLuca Invitational Golf Tournament on Saturday, May 27, 2017 at Colonial Country Club in Fort Worth. Ashley Landis, Dallas Morning News, the LPGA's Volunteers of America, Texas Shootout is moving to Old American Golf Club in the Colony, the LPGA announced. The event, which will be renamed the Volunteers of America LPGA North Dallas Classic, will be played May 36, two weeks before the at Byron Nelson. The five-year-old LPGA event had been played every year at Las Colinas Country Club. It will be the first elite professional event hosted at Old American, designed by Trip Davis and PGA Tour member Justin Leonard. The course has hosted the Texas Women's Open, the NTPGA Professional Championship and a U.S. Open qualifier. We are looking forward to continuing to enrich the golf tradition here in Dallas at Old American Golf Club, said Mike King, president and CEO of Volunteers of America. This course is unlike any other on the LPGA Tour today, and the golf fans of Dallas are really going to enjoy it here. Dean DeLuca raises $12.9 million for charity A record-breaking birdies for charity campaign helped the Dean DeLuca Invitational at Colonial Country Club earn $12.9 million for 33 area charities, the club announced. Pledges from individuals and the Birdies for Charity campaign during the tournament raised $11.7 million. The PGA Tour players made 1,134 birdies during the tournament. Military-related charities have become a growing part of the tournament's activities, including Military Warriors Support Foundation, Birdies for the Brave and K9S for Warriors. Colonial has helped donate 13 homes to injured veterans in recent years. North rallies in singles to win Texas shootout the North outscored the South 2-7-1-2-8-1-2 in singles matches to win the Texas shootout at Merida Golf Club in Carrollton 4-3-1-2-2-8-1-2. Chuck Palmer made the clinching point when he came back and defeated John McClure on the 18th hole in their match, taking two of a possible three points. The Texas Golf Association event featured eight mid-amateurs and four seniors on each team in a Ryder Cup-style competition. Players earned their way onto their teams by accumulating points throughout the year in designated Texas Golf Association regional and statewide tournaments, as well as in USG and national championships.